reach it. I did it, and it, it's funny. She asks funny questions that aren't, doesn't really make sense. Well, yeah, I mean, it's um, the idea of it was that Zoe, Zoe Howe, who, who she interviewed all the other people that are in that, uh, that I wanted contributions in the book. You know, there's Pete Wilson and uh, you know, other people who were there in at the day. Um, to give their recollection, recollection of what um, 1982 was like, you know, and you know, obviously, um, you know, because we started off the year with great optimism, you know, we we'd already finished, well, pretty much finished the the, the gift album, and finished it off in the new year. That was all coming out. We had gigs already lined up for way into the summer, and we think this is, you know, and so we we're all champing at the back at the bit to get back at it. And um, so it, it started off really well, uh, and then we took a holiday in the in sort of mid August, July, something like that. I think Paul went on the Orient Express with his girlfriend. Bruce went to I don't know Marbella or somewhere, Clubland. I went to Gibraltar, which was just as, just in time to see the fleet come back from Falkland Islands. So that was interesting. Incredible. Oh Christ! All these, all these marines and sailors and matlows and all that turning up, all haven't had a drink for, for and their ships were full of holes, and, uh, and all they wanted to do was party. So the second week I was there was just mayhem, uh, great fun. Yeah. Um, so anyway, that was sort of surreal. And then when we came back, we we'd already planned to go in the studio and do some recording, which I think was things like Edwin Starr's War and a couple of other tracks. Which we often did if we had a few days off here and there, we would just book ourselves into a studio and maybe demo some things or get it ready. Um, you know, and it was then that um, Paul, or rather John, said, "Look, uh, Paul's wants to have a chat with us." You know, because we, we never had meetings unless they were in a bar, really. And uh, so, um, and he, I remember it quite vividly that. John literally had to lead Paul out. I mean, it was obviously going to be something that Paul was going to find difficult to, to talk about. And he, then he sort of laid it on us that he wanted to leave the band and we were absolutely cobspacked. You know, we, I think Bruce sort of said to him, well, look, why don't you just take a break? You know, uh, if there's something else that you want to go on and do, uh, you know, a solo a career or whatever, but we'll just take a break. We could afford to do that at that point. You know, we didn't have to sort of Throw the baby out of the well, bathroom. Well, you've, look, you've spent, I don't know, six years making some brilliant records. Every single you did went in at number one, pretty much, by that point. It had taken you a while to get there, yeah. but you'd got there. So, you couldn't understand it, could you? Well, no, just on every single level, it did, didn't make any sense at all. John wasn't happy with it. You know, me and Bruce, obviously, not happy with it. Um, but, you know, we were adults and we we could see that look, if you really, really, uh, if that's what you want to do, then you know we, we sort of respected that decision. Um, so, it, and, and the oddest thing about that was that uh, after about half an hour of trying to talk him out of it and um, you know rethink it and all this sort of stuff and what was his reasons and which didn't seem very sound to to me and Bruce at the time, that we decided look we were just going around in circles. So we went into the studio. And it was like the elephant in the room. We just carried on recording. We went in there like any other recording session and recorded the stuff and you know, got, just carried on with work as, as usual. And then in a very gentlemanly fashion, we uh, went about the task of how to do the last shows coming up to the Christmas, decided we were going to end by the end of the year. Uh, we needed one more album to satisfy the record contract, which was why the last album was Dig the New Breed, because it was a live album. We didn't have to have new songs or anything like that. So that was that got us out of the contract. So we were trying to tidy up all the loose ends. Um, and yet we never really spoke about it. You know, Paul leaving the band almost again. We carried on doing those shows uh, and organised where we were going to do the last show and all that sort of stuff. Um, it must have been difficult for you to be in that position. Well I thought he would change his mind. I thought, you know, this he's gonna come he's gonna come round at any moment and realise that what we what we worked so hard for, we'd actually got. The, the, the last shows were brilliant. Um, you know, we were playing really, really well. 
the tickets were still selling, the records were still selling. Um, well, you know, well the demand for tickets was quite extraordinary for that. Oh, it was absolutely too. unreal. I mean, did anyone here go and see the last tour? Yeah. Yeah, quite a lot. Yeah. Did anyone bunk in? No, we paid. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear it. Well, well I did. Anyway, Guildford was the one for me, actually, which yeah. was your hometown. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I didn't have tickets for that. And do you remember uh, Mike Reed? Yes. He was <laughs> yes. the the band. Mike Reed, Mike Reed, two yes. seven five. Every time he came out to the mic, everyone chanted, Mike Reed, 275 and 285, National Radio 1. And he, he just gave up in the end. And John Mullard would come on and go, the best fucking band in the world, the jam. It was, it was a brilliant night. Yeah, well that was, we thought we'd finish it at Guildford because that was like the, the closest to the local gig. But then we got offered other things to do. I mean, I think we got offered two nights at, at, uh, at Wembley and that sold out insta instantly. So they added another night and then they said, the promoter said, well, what, well, why don't you do another one? And go, all right. And so we, we just kept adding nights. And in the end, it was like getting embarrassing. So we had to say, no, we just can't take any more. You know? um, and then obviously the last one was added at Brighton. Again, that sort of nod to the sort of mod yeah, thing. Yeah, the history of it all. Yeah, yeah. I've got in the, the window for that one. But anyway, that's a different story. Um, so, you released shopping and